For a long time I've been searching. Searching for a Neuroptera. An antelion. And today, I found it. Come with me on my adventure. Right. In order to find the antelion, we're going to need to have to traverse compass. In order to do that, we're going to have to catch a bus. The 20. Join us. We've located our transportation. We're on our way to find the antelion. Take a look. We also have a special guest right here. This is a green tree frog. It is also here to see the antlion. Let's go. In order to locate the antlion, we're gonna to need to travel through the natural area teaching lab. Come with me as we go through this lab. Look around, take a look around. We are right in the swamp, gator territory. Let's go. Okay, it appears that we've come up on high water, so move very carefully. Just how high the water level is at this location. We need to get over there, but in order to do that, we're going to have to travel across this. Are you ready? Come with me. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you something fantastic. If you look off the horizon, that right there is the University of Florida's entomology department, number one in the world. Ooh, look at that green anole on the tree over there. Do you see it? Come this way, come this way. Look at it. It's an immaculate little creature, I must say. through the wetlands of Natal. We now have high grass and other shrubbery. Continue on. Can you hear that? The ant lion. It's right around the bend here. Come with me. Got a dragonfly over there. Watch out, watch out. These are booby traps. As we make our advance through the jungle and the thicket, we come closer and closer to reaching our destination. Now the Natural Area Teaching Lab at the University of Florida, it's an immaculate place. You must come and visit it, at least once in your life. Right around this bend, right around this bend. We've located what we're looking for. Take a look, take a look right here. We are going to be hunting the antelion. As 
an adult, it will become this great interrupter. Now at first glance, you might not see them. Take a look, take a look. Can you spot the antlion? So right here, we have the layers of the antlion. Now what they will do is they will bury down in this loose sand slash loose soil and they will wait until an ant falls into the trap. Now the way that the, let me see if I can get a better view. Now the way that they are constructed, the ants will fall directly to the center of the pit. Once there, they will try to escape, but they will lose their traction and they will fall again to the center where the ant lion will consume them. Now here, watch, I will show you as we capture one of these immaculate creatures. So basically, what you want to do is you're gonna take your hand like a spear and you're gonna stick right into the thing and squeeze around. So you're gonna scoop up the ant lion. Let's see if we can scoop up an ant lion. It's a very tricky procedure. Have we an ant lion? We do. Take a look, take a look. So what you want to do is you move the debris away like this. We actually have him right over here. Can you see him? Right there in my hand. Let's see, let's see, let's see, there he is. Put him over here. Zoom in on him. That, that is what we're after. Now if you can look to the front of his head, it uses those mandibles to grab the ants that it attacks. Zoom in on it, get a perfect shot. That's as far zoomed in as I can go. Now this ant lion, while in the soil is the predator, but in my hand is prey. <laughs>